Hi guys, welcome to another video. So I'm uh, ready to update you, uh, you guys a bit about the uh, stock market and as well as what we talk about on Wednesday is about the US index and also the euro and also the gold. So uh, after just two days, the world has changed quite dramatically. And then uh, I will update you about the position, the short position and non position of the FX. And but now, first of all, we'll talk about the general market, right? If we don't understand the economy or what people are thinking in the market, we really don't get the view of the main direction. And then we kind of have uh, having our own bias in counting the waves in. Uh, uh, making patterns stuff like that. So first of all, we'll talk about the Spanish uh, The independence and uh, as well as the government is launching the program of nuclear something like that to control the all the uh, Crisis and all the chaos. Okay, so many people are kind of scared about this issue, right? So we talk about the uh, we can talk about the technical um, technical side of the stock market, how it's doing, and right now we cannot see, we can we can see the gold first of all. Okay, when we look at the gold, we can most likely see generally, <coughs> generally the uh, stock market what is thinking in short term, where uh, in terms of the hatching uh, and the emotion. Okay, so now we can see um, uh, the previous night we can see the gold, the price has gone up a little bit. But to compare to the scale, I don't think the market is kind of panicked, but yes, it's kind of bad. But right now, if we see today, the, uh, the gold is coming back down, right? So rather than not yesterday, we are panicked, we are panic, panic or not, but today, the world generally is not as panicked. So you may say, oh, sometimes people will go uh, do hedging, uh, buying US dollar instead of the gold. Yes, you will. So we can look at the US dollar, okay? So we can look at US dollar, it's exactly the same. You can see a shooting star pattern here, it was bad, but now, we see another pattern going up this strong bullish candlesticks so let me explain it in english okay so it means that people are drawing money from gold or other markets that is meant to be for protection and then the money is flowing back into the united states to invest because uh, there are all kinds of rumors or maybe there are proofs that the Fed will go into raise interest rate in November or maybe latest in December, right? So when the interest rate is going up, it will attract money flowing into this uh, stock market. So we don't know other markets for sure, but for um, for US market, it will be uh, good, okay? If money is flowing in, into this US market. And also because of that, then the uh, USD to JPY will going to be going up. So J J uh, Japanese yen will be weaker, since so it will be more attractive for us to borrow that money and then use it to invest in stock market, not commodities, right? Because US dollar is going up. So commodities will be going down or people will be selling commodities like gold and then invest in stock market. So if you notice that my background has changed, yes, because in the middle of the uh, recording, I have a phone interview, so uh, that's that's okay. Uh, we have a mini, uh, uh, big office, so we can we can choose another place to record and talk to you guys. As long as the information is here, then you know in general uh, what is happening in the market. And uh, this is pretty deep and pretty uh, maybe hard to grasp. So I suggest you to save it, uh, to save this video to watch later. Something that you can apply it today, or some, and also most importantly, something that you can insert into your. Uh, decision making into your portfolio and formula so you can replicate it in the future again and again. So this is something that we, we have to understand other than our own gut feeling. We have to look at this solid evidence. So now we can say that it's pretty safe that the uh, stock market may be going to rebound. If you want me to sell my stocks to um, to the market to anyone outside, you have to prove me that to prove to me that the uh, the hatching, the emotions, and the signals that uh, I have to sell something. But at least I can't see anything like that. So I can briefly talk about this. It's about the spread between the uh, U.S. 10-year Treasury yields and Fed rate. Okay, so. Uh, to make it short, uh, the wider the spread is, the stronger the economy is. So right now, we can see the 
look at the 10 year yield. We can look at how people reacting recently. So you can see ever since last update from mid October is only going up. So people are not panicking other than other uh, the, on the other hand, they're investing in business, uh, in economy, in stocks, in everything. But and also the spread is going to be uh is widened right now so the eating leading index the economy is stronger so that is why there's a support that economy is pretty good if you look at other countries 10-year yield uh for example malaysia singapore taiwan south korea chinese and hong kong i've checked them all it's all going strong other than only yesterday is a bit going down uh for example for south korea and hong kong is going a bit down so you can see hong kong stock market is uh stumbled a bit more but it rebounded pretty much uh today on friday so uh i would say that the stock market is pretty safe if we use s p 500 as the index it has broken above this uh really strong trend line which we talk about this really really many times that is pretty uh good signal and you can use this line as a cut loss level or cut profit because this trend line is going up right so we can take benefit of this trend because the more we the longer we wait the higher the cut profit level will be so that is pretty uh is on on, on our side so now uh, uh yesterday we uh we uh, by the way we have decided a new portfolio for our 2018 probably we can release the what uh, the new stock what our new picks for the 2018 but uh we have been changing our portfolio changing the stocks so up uh last night we've been uh by investing in two new stocks that we will uh, will be investing in 2018. so uh yesterday is pretty good signal because it uh the lowest it hit uh, 2574 uh, for, uh, 47 and then it rebounded and closed pretty high almost all day high so now i think hitting historic high again is not a problem but as long as you can limit the risk which is here as long as it's dropped below 2535 and you can cut loss and now you can lock the risk and then the return will be uh just let it go the return uh so you don't really have to set a profit up above uh the main reason main key is what stock you're gonna pick in the future so a little bit of the update about the us dollar after today the us dollar may be going up again just like what i said on wednesday but in terms of short term if you are doing leverage especially 20 times i have closed my position to this day this day this is a shooting star i don't wait for tomorrow i wait for this one this star is uh wednesday night the moment that the same night i recorded this video uh the last video so i closed position and i uh long the position again uh today and uh, uh maybe tonight okay not not now right but tonight if it holds this strong pattern i will long it again and then i will short euro again because i close the position on uh, wednesday as what i talk about uh on wednesday and uh i may short the euro again because the head and shoulder pattern is pretty strong and perfect is really solid and again gold is not as solid as other two so i might uh allocate my assets as uh as like that two to one two to two to one is us dollar to euro to gold uh my weighting will be two to one and uh that's basically my update right now so hopefully uh hopefully the best uh i don't believe in luck i believe in doing your homework doing our homework and the uh, chance will come so that's basically the update i'll see you monday and close update will be wednesday so leave me any questions i can answer you and please like this video so i understand i know that you guys like this video and also share this video to your friends investing make easy i'll see you next time goodbye